Hey everyone, this is Bales. I'm at Fantasy Labs and I wanted to create a video to show off our new PGA product, which we're about to release. Um, so I'll just run through all the tabs here that we have for PGA. So if you click on PGA Home, you'll see all of our golf-specific content. We're going to have a lot of cool podcasts and articles um, for each tournament. Player Ratings is a free page that we have for every sport where we give you a whole bunch of data. Um, so here you're looking at long-term form, which is a golfer's... Uh, previous 75 uh, weeks of data. So um, if you want to know uh, average birdies per round for Danny or, or per tournament for Danny Lee over the past 75 weeks, you can find that here at 13.4, uh, 283 yards is the average driving distance. Um, <clears throat> you can also sort on the left here by different stats. So if we want to look at the long-term scoring average, um, this is just a uh, um, the average uh, round that um, golfers are turning in uh, and it'll sort them and rate them according to a historical percentile rank. So Stenson um, leads the way and we also adjust this for field strength and for course difficulty. So if a guy is playing a lot of difficult courses, of course, we're going to expect him to score lower than if he's on easy courses. Um, so this is a really cool uh, um, free feature and free page that we offer. Trends. Um, you can create your own angles that have historically offered value or use pro trends. So we're looking at pro trends. This is um, looking solely at golfers who are at least 2%, um, have a 2% probability or higher to win a um, tournament in a given week. And those golfers historically on DraftKings have offered um, or scored 3.65 points per tournament above what we'd expect based on their cost. So it's salary adjusted. Um, and we also created these new histograms, um, which you can look at. You can also look at uh, trends by month and by day. So this, you can see, has been a consistently um, profitable trend over time. Um, player models. This is the primary tool that people use for each sport. This gives you even more data and the ability to model that data. So we have long-term form, which like I said, is the past 75 weeks recent, which is a golfer's six, past six weeks of data, course specific, um, fantasy specific stats over the past month and season, and then weather, um, which you'd think might be the same for each golfer, but they have different tee times. So uh, we match up the hourly um, weather with tee time. So if uh, guys who are teeing off in the morning, it might be very windy um, compared to afternoon tee times. Um, they should be upgraded because they're golfing in much better conditions. Um, so you can uh, use all of this data to help create lineups. You can also uh, create models. So using the sliders here, you can adjust these according to what you think is important. Update, and then we will immediately backtest the model. So that particular um, model was less uh, profitable in the past uh, after I changed it. Um, but this is the plus minus, the points above what we'd expect for the top players in that model in the past. Um, you can also use pro models. So you can use models that we've um, cre re uh, created for you. So this is the tournament model. Um, and this is geared toward um, rating players uh, for tournaments. So it's going to look at things um, more uh, up. It's going to weight upside more heavily, perhaps recent performance. Um, but really, it's whatever you think is important uh, that we can immediately back test for you, show you if it's a good model, and then you can ultimately create lineups off of that model. So you can optimize a lineup, which will give you the true uh, mathematical optimal lineup based on your particular model that you've created. You can also um, build lineups just like you would on DraftKings by locking players in. <clears throat> so you lock in um, golfers, you can see uh, average remaining salary and build a lineup just like that. And when you have one, you can save. Um, you can also generate a whole bunch of lineups. So let's say we want to create 10 lineups. Minimum salary caps is 99%. And let's say we want a min golfer rating of 63. Um, you can look at your ratings here. And depending on how you built your model, you might need to change that min rating generate lineups and so we have 10 lineups created it shows you the rating of each uh, we have exposure to 20 golfers these are the percentage of lineups that they're in if you don't like that um, Wilcox is an 80 let's say we only want them in 40 percent you can redo it and then we will get him into as close to 40 percent as we can so you can continue to tinker with that when you're happy save lineups and then on the my lineups page um, you can see all those lineups you can see the exposure that you have to each golfer there as well. You can remove lineups, you can export 
to a CSV and that CSV file you can upload straight to DraftKings to make entering leagues um, very easy. And then the final um, page that we have is uh, player widgets. Um, so this is new, but this is something that you can embed on your site. Um, to look at Fantasy Labs data, you can also download images if you'd like to um, embed those or share them on social media. Um, but you can search for golfers here. We're looking at recent performance. Um, so Bubba Watson over the past 10 tournaments has, has scored 14.59 points above what we'd expect and exceeded his salary based expected points in eight of those 10 tournaments. Um, so these are just a uh, widgets that um, that we just released that uh, should be helpful in helping you share um, and quickly uh, search for, for Fantasy Labs data.